Okay, so today's class we're going to focus on stretching and strengthening around the hamstrings. So what happens is if you, quite a lot of time, if you feel like your hamstrings are tight, it's mostly because of everyday things we do, like sitting in a chair makes them kind of really chronic and tight in the hamstrings. Um, but another reason is if they're weak. So quite often weak hamstrings, because they have to grip, they feel tight because they don't feel relaxed enough to, to know that they're strong enough. So we'll do a bit of stretching and strengthening them today. So it's going to start off, as is always useful, just notice how you are right now. So having the feet just slightly wider than the hips, arms relaxed. And you can either have your eyes open or closed. Whatever helps you to bring attention to how you're feeling today. So we'll start with the feet. And noticing if you've got lots of weight in one foot or if the weight is equal. And just see if you can start to even the weight out between your feet. Then being aware of whether one foot is turned out more than the other and just see if you can have your feet more or less parallel. So especially because we're working on the legs today, we're going to have a little look down at the toes now. If your toes are all scrunched up together, really try to lift and spread your toes. And then even if it's difficult, try to spread them wider and try and put them down one at a time. So little toe, next one, next one, next one, all the way to a big toe. Good. Okay, and then bring your awareness up to the hips. So if your hips feel like they're twisted off to one side, just have them more or less centered. Noticing your arms, so if one arm is turned forward and one is back, just relaxing them so they're kind of even. Noticing your shoulders, so if your shoulders feel hunched forward, just give them a roll back. And then let's bring our awareness to the head. So if your chin is jutting forward, then just pull the chin slightly in so you feel like the back of your neck gets a bit longer. Good, nice. All right, so from there, we're going to start to warm the body up a bit. So hands on the hips, it's up to make a few big circles all the way around. So just as we do this, pay attention to the feet so we can feel the weight shifting around the edges of your feet. So from the left to right, and the front to back, and then swap direction. So warming up the hips, but also bringing attention to the feet. Good, and then one thing it's really good to do to get some more blood flow into the hamstring, especially if they feel, feel tight, um, is a practice which is called paida. And this is from uh, Chinese medicine, so literally just slapping through the back of the legs. So we can bend the knees a little bit, just bend forward as much as you need to, hands onto your hamstrings, and then just kind of slap down. It doesn't have to be really hard, but then up and down your hamstrings. Good, just get lots of blood flow there. Good. So you've got the outsides of your legs as well, back of the hamstrings, and then go on the inner hamstrings as well, so the inner thighs. Good, and then one more time, go to the back of your legs and the hamstrings, it's kind of slapping, tapping there. Good, and then relax your hands and we'll come up to stand again. Good, so you've got lots of blood flow going through the legs now, so we're going to bring the hands together, toes turn out slightly. We're going to bend the knees, come in about halfway down, so you're going into a little squat. Then push for your feet, squeeze your bum, and come back up. Good. So now we're going to inhale as we come down. Exhale back up. Good. Again, inhaling down. Exhaling up. Good. Now we're going to add on. So we're going to come down low. Then as we come up, lift up onto your tiptoes. We're really using the leg muscles. Good. Then heels down, bend the knees, sit low. Come up again, lift your heels, go up high. Good, heels down, sit low. And then one more time, come up, lift the heels, hold it. Good, nice, and then heels down, brilliant. Okay, so going to a little practice called good mornings now. So some people do this with the weight on their back as well. So have the knees tiny bit bent, hands on your hips, and we're trying to keep the spine straight the whole time. What we're gonna do is push your hips back, straight back behind you until you feel a little stretch in the back of your legs. Okay, hold it when you feel the stretch, then squeeze your bum and push back up. So we're just gonna engage in the hamstrings. So again, hinge back, keep a very straight spine until you feel a little stretch, squeeze your bum and then come back up. Good, two more times. So we'll do it with the breath. We're gonna breathe in, come down. Breathe out, back up. Good, again, breathe in, come down. Breathe out, back up. 
Good. Now, last one, we're going to come down and we're going to hold it just where you feel the little stretch. Good. And then to make it a bit stronger, take your arms up to the side, squeeze your shoulder blades. Good. And if you want to make it stronger still, take your hands, reach them forward. Good. Okay, but again, just be mindful, we don't want to do too much to start with. Good. Nice. And then relax the hands and up to stand. Good. Well done. So maybe shake it off the legs a little bit. Okay, going into a bit of a stretch now. So we're going to take the right foot to step forward and your left foot back a bit. Okay, so feet don't have to be on a tight rope, they can be more on like train tracks. Hands on your hips. So we're going to just start to lift your chest and then forward fold down that front leg. Okay, so you can keep a bend in the knee, just let yourself come down. You can let your hands relax down as well. And then just for the first stretch in this front leg. Okay, so instead of staying still, what we're going to do is bend your front knee and then begin to stretch the leg again. Okay, so you bend the knee, you come slightly out the stretch, then straighten, feel the stretch. Okay, so a couple of times moving back and forth, bending and lengthening. So your breath is a really good way to tell how your body's coping with this. So if you're holding your breath, it's probably a little bit too much. But just see if you can breathe in a nice, relaxed way. Good. All right, so the next time you bend the knee, we're going to roll up slowly to stand. We're going to up here, we're going to lift the hands up, and we're going to keep the legs straight as we hinge forward, a bit like we did before. Good, it's about halfway, good. So now we come into warrior three position, we're adding a bit of balance. So take your back leg and send it straight back behind you. Okay, we want to focus on the toes spreading wide again. And then see if you can stay on one foot as we come upright, so the hands lift. I'm going to take this other leg and pull the knee up towards your chest. Good, and then take your foot, push it straight back behind you again. So wobbling is totally fine. You can always keep the foot on the floor if you need. Send it back. And then one more time, bring yourself up. Hands lift, pull that knee to your chest. Good, and then send that foot back. So pop the foot on the floor whenever you need to. Straight back behind you. Good, well done. And then we're gonna let that foot land. Good, well done. So shake out the legs. We'll do the other side, okay? So now we're gonna take the left foot to step forward, other leg back. So hands and the hips, think of like a, like a pyramid sort of shape. We're gonna forward fold down the front leg. And when the stretch is enough, just bend your knee a bit, so you're not overstretched. You can let your hands come down and then little bend and stretch through the leg. So kind of coming in and out of the stretch. Doesn't need to be too much. Good. Noticing how you're breathing. So if you're holding your breath, then back out and stretch a little bit. Good. Okay, then the next time you bend your knee, we're going to slowly come up to stand. Good. And then again, we're going to lift the hands up. Coming halfway to reach the hands forward. Good, and we're going to go into our balance now. So send your back leg straight back behind you. Well done, good. Okay, so the toes are on the floor, spread them wide. We're going to see if we can stay on one foot as we come up, right? So hands lift, knee to chest. Good, then send that foot straight back behind you, hands forward. So wobbling's totally fine. If you want work, just come back into it. Good, one more time, stay on one foot, come upright, hands lift, knee to the chest. Good, and then push that foot straight back, find to that straight-ish line. Good, well done, and then place the foot down. Fantastic, good, so yeah, last time here, just shake out the legs. Good, and the rest of the things we're gonna do will be down towards the ground. So, a little bit of tapping the back of the legs again. Soft bend of the knees, hands onto your hamstrings, and again, just give a little bit of a slap to really encourage lots of blood flow, go to the back of the knees as well. Okay, that's it, side to the legs. Get nice. And then keep tapping all the way down, go onto your calves now. Get down, da 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 Good, and then we're gonna bring the hands onto the floor, to bend your knees as much as you need to. We're gonna take a step back with the right foot and lower your knee down. Good. Okay, so both hands are going to go inside your front leg. And as we breathe in now, we're going to come forward. So you're just pushing forward a bit, get a stretch in that right hip. And as you breathe out, pull back and come onto your heels. So you stretch down the hamstring a bit. 
Good. I repeat this two more times. So inhaling forward. And then exhaling back. Perfect. One more time just like that. So coming forward nice and slowly. Good. And then gently coming back. Brilliant. Okay, so as we come forward now, we're going to take your front leg back behind you in the air. Good. So this is going to strengthen into the glutes as well. So keeping both your elbows straight, take your foot and tap it out to the side on the floor. Good. Let me just face you. And then draw a big arch with that left foot up and over. So you're tapping the other side on the ground. Good. Nice, nice. And again, keep the elbows straight up and over to the left. That's a good tap the floor. Good, and then up and over to the right. Perfect, nice, good. Especially watch that left elbow. One more time, up and over to the left. Good, well done. And then up and over to the right. Good, so now what we're gonna do is take that foot and slowly bring it out to the side of your body and try and hover it in the air just for a moment with straight elbows. Good, well done. Put the foot on the floor so it's next to you. And now we're gonna stretch into more of the inner hamstring. So with your foot on the floor, okay, we're gonna do a little cat-cow move in your spine. So we inhale, lift your chest, lift your tailbone, look up. And as you exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest. Good, we breathe in again, look up, tailbone lifts. Chin to chest, round the spine. Good, now do that open position where you're kind of looking up a bit and you've got a dip in your back, okay? Keep this position and we're gonna sink your hips back towards your back heel until you feel a stretch in your inner thigh. Okay, obviously not too much of a stretch. And then come slowly up, so the weight is in your hands again. Good. And then again, gently sink back until you feel a stretch in your inner thigh. Good, slowly come up. And then one more time there, gently sink the weight back, hold it for a moment. Good, and then slowly come up. Perfect, nice. Okay, so we're going to bring that leg back behind you so your toes are tucked underneath. And then just push back through your heels so you feel a stretch in your calf. Good, nice. So kind of come in and out of the stretch. So ease off the stretch. And then push the heel back again, get a stretch. Nice. Ease off of it. And then push back. One more time. Ease off the stretch. And then push back there. Brilliant. So we're going to take that same leg, same left leg, step it forward if you can, to a back in that little lunge position. Good, nice. And then take the other foot, tuck the toes and step forward to the front of your mat. Good. Keep the knees a little bit soft as you roll up to stand. Big stretch up with the arms. Okay, guys, so it's coming to those good balling movements again, just to make sure the hamstrings are engaged. So hands and the hips, little bend of the knees, push the hips back, keep a straight spine. You're going to sit like a tabletop with your back. Squeeze your bum. Come all the way up. Good. Nice. And again, hinge back. Hold it. Squeeze your bum. Come up. One more time. Really, really straight. Hinging back. So you feel like a little stretch. Then engage your legs and come up. Good. Well done. All right. So our other side on the floor now. So we're going to bring ourselves down to a forward fold. This time we set your left foot back and bring the knee to the floor, so you know this little lunge again there. Good, all right, so both hands on the inside of your foot. We're gonna breathe in, come forward. So your chest is open, you're kind of stretching into your hips a bit. Good, and as you breathe out, pull back and come onto your right heel, that will stretch in that hamstring. Good, and again, slowly, slowly forward, opening your chest, and then slowly, slowly back there. Good, so as you come forward now, we're gonna take your right leg back behind you in the air. Okay, we're gonna go into those arches. So trying to keep your elbows totally straight, tap the foot to the side, go to the right, and then bring it in a big high arch up and over to your left, tap the floor. Good, that's it, straight elbows up and over to the side. Good, well done. And then up and over to the other side. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take that leg out to the side of your body. Hold it there for a moment. Try and hover it. Good, well done, nice. And then put the foot on the floor. Good, well done. Okay, so just show you from this side. So again, with the foot on the floor, we're going to come through those cat cow movements. So breathe in, chest forward, look up slightly. So you've got a dip in your back. And then breathe out, push the floor, round the spine, chin to chest. Good. 
Again, pull your chest forward, slightly looking up, and then round the spine there. Good. So now come to that position where we've got a little dip in your spine, and then keep that position as we sink the hips back towards the back heel. Little stretch for the inner thigh. Good, and then come forward so there's some weight in your hands again. Nice, and again, sinking the weight back. Take your time, holding it. Then bring the weight forward. And then one more time, gently sink the weight back. And then bring it forward there. Good, well done. So we're gonna take the leg, bring it back behind you with the toes tucked underneath. Just push back till you feel a stretch in your calf. And then come out of that stretch. And two more times, push the weight back. Then let it go. Again, push back. And let it go. Well done, good. So from here, what we're gonna do is come onto our hands and knees. Good. And then we're gonna come into a downward facing dog position. It's a nice way to stretch the hamstrings. So we spread the fingers wide, tuck your toes and push your hips up and back behind you. Good. So a really good way to find your downward facing dog position that's good for your body is to come into a plank position now. So you've got your shoulders over your wrists, good, and your body's totally straight. Okay, good, elbows are straight. So try and keep your hands and your feet exactly where they are and just push your hips up and back, up and back, as far as they can go. And that'll be your downward facing dog shape, good. We'll do that two more times. So come into a plank position, your whole body's in a straight line, shoulders over your wrists. Good, push back, downward facing dog. Good, one more time here. So coming forward, shoulders over your wrists. Good, and now just drop the knees to the floor. And we'll go back into a child's pose position. So you push the hips back to your heels and let your arms rest maybe alongside your body if you can. Good, nice. All right, so we're coming to a seated position here. Okay, so we'll have the feet forward in front of you, this way, and um, quite wide apart. Good, okay, so from here, we're gonna turn towards your left leg. So you be aware of your heel and really push it down into the floor. These are you trying to make a hole in the floor, your left heel, so it's really pushing down. Keep that feeling, lift your arms up. And if you remember when we were hinging forward before, we're gonna do that, okay, our arms are lift and we hinge forward. So this is not a stretch, this is a strengthen. So if you look at something beyond the foot, look at something in the room and reach towards that as you push your heel into the floor. So hopefully you can feel the back of your leg is really working quite hard, getting a little bit warmer. Good, try and keep a nice straight spine. Good, and then what happens is when we engage the front of the, muscle, of the leg, the back of the leg starts to release any tension. So we're gonna lift the hands up again, squeeze your kneecap to engage your quad, and lift your leg if you can. So it might even be a tiny bit, that's fine. You might get a bit cramped as well. Good, and then place the foot down, now we're gonna relax the hands and take a stretch down towards the leg. Good, so again, it doesn't need to be a massive stretch, but quite often you might find this will help you stretch slightly deeper. Brilliant, all right, so we're gonna slowly come up. We'll do the other side now. So turn towards that right leg, get your heel, Push it down into the floor, okay, really firmly. Nice straight spine, we're gonna lift the hands up and then reach forward. So maybe looking at something that is in front of your body. So don't worry about touching your toes, reach forward. Good, keep pushing the heel into the floor, really working for the back of the leg here. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. One more moment here. Good, nice. All right, we're going to lift the hands. So engage in the front of the leg, squeeze your kneecap, lift the leg. That's a good. Doesn't matter how high it comes, but really work into the quad muscle. And then let the heel come down, relax the leg, and then forward fold to get a stretch in the leg. Good. It's a good time to notice your breathing. So try to take some slow breaths through your nose now. Good, well done, slowly coming up. Nice, well done. All right, the last one we'll do on your back. So we're gonna come and lie down on your back when you're ready. 
Okay. When we're there, we'll have the knees bent with the feet on the floor. So we're going to come into some different variations of some bridge positions here. So we'll keep the knees bent with the feet flat for a moment. Arms alongside your body. And then squeeze your bum and lift your hips up into the air. Good. So just holding this for a moment. Like we did at the beginning, try and spread your toes quite wide. Good. And then slowly, slowly coming down to your hips land on the floor last. Good. So now we're going to do the same again, but we're only going to have our heels on the floor. So flex your feet so your heels are just on the floor. And then without moving them, push your heels down firmly into the floor, like we did a second ago. And then imagine you could drag your heels towards you. So we're not moving them, we're just kind of dragging them across the mat a bit. Good. Hopefully you can feel your hamstrings engaged when we do that. Keep that feeling and lift your hips up again. Good. So how, the heels are pushing down, pulling in. Good. Glutes are squeezing. Nice. And then slowly lowering down. Good. So one more variation of that. If you found that easy, then bring your heels a bit further away from your body. So your legs are not quite as bent. Good. Same again. Push your heels firmly into the floor. Without moving them, pull your heels towards you. You're just dragging them a bit. Squeeze your bum, lift your hips. Yeah, that's it. There's a hamstring bridge, so really squeezing. Even tuck your, you tuck your heels, no, what it's called, sorry. Even tuck your pelvis underneath your tailbone. Good, well done. Slowly coming down, fantastic, good. So from there, let your legs just straighten away from you. And just kind of flip your feet side to side, just sway them side to side there, release the legs. Good, well done. Last stretch here. So we're going to bend the knees, feet flat to the ground again. When we're here, we're going to take a hold of the left thigh, so you can interlace your fingers around your thigh. Good. And then gently stretch your heel up towards the ceiling. Good. It doesn't need to be straight at all, but just a place where you can feel a stretch. And if you want to make the stretch deeper, you can climb your hands up closer towards your ankle. That I hope you stretch a bit deeper. Good, keep the shoulders relaxed as we stretch here. Brilliant, well done. Okay, slowly bring that leg down to the other side. So interlace the fingers around the other thigh. Stretch the leg toward the ceiling. And you can walk the hands up closer to the ankle if you want to for a deeper stretch. Just keeping those shoulders nice and relaxed. Okay, well done. So we're going to bring that foot to the ground. So from there, we're just going to slide the legs away along the mat, relaxing your arms. And we'll do those three nice, deeply relaxing breaths to finish with. So just staying lying down in a comfortable position. And together we're going to take a big breath in through your nose. When you get to the top, take another breath in. So that's two inhales. Then imagine you're blowing out through a straw. Take a long breath out. Like when you blow out a candle, that kind of movement of your mouth. Do that two more times to so take a breath in. Another breath at the top. Good. Imagine blowing out a candle. Breathe out. One more time. Inhaling. One more breath at the top. Good. Breathing out. Good, well done. Okay, so if you bend your knees, hug them in towards your chest, maybe rolling from side to side across your back. And when you're ready, you rock yourself on up to sit. Good, well done.